When you burn a material that's made of carbon, what happens is you rapidly combine it with oxygen. So one thing that happens is you get carbon and oxygen together. Reducing coal's carbon dioxide emissions will be a daunting task, but not impossible. Next door to the Antelope Valley power plant is the Great Plains Sinfuels plant, which uses an innovative technique known as coal gasification. Coal gasification is a very unique process. Uh, the gasification plant here is the only plant of its kind in the United States. Inside the 14 gasifiers, high pressure tanks each weighing 165 tons, a precise combination of heat, pressure, oxygen and steam causes the molecular structure of the coal to break apart. The hydrogen and carbon form pure methane or natural gas. While the principal product, methane, is piped off to be used as a heating fuel, other compounds, such as ammonium sulfate, are captured by smokestack scrubbers and used to make fertilizer. I think one of the unique aspects of this plant is that this is a, a, a chemist's dream. Unlike coal combustion plants, which release a more jumbled mix of emissions, the Sinfuels plant can separate, capture, and compress its carbon dioxide emissions. The CO2 waste stream is sent through a pipeline to these depleted oil fields in Canada. Here the CO2 is injected many hundreds of feet below the surface into porous rock formations which trap the CO2 permanently. It's called carbon dioxide sequestration and this expensive technology is just getting started.